Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Pit TCGs. I'm Hellfire, and this is round three of the Florida GP held in Kissimmee, Florida at the Osceola Heritage Park. Uh, I am joined by Phantom for this round for uh, post commentary. And uh, how did your uh, how did your whole run go there, Phantom? <laughs> uh, honestly, Florida GP I think went pretty well overall. Um, the competition was a lot stiffer this time, um, so each each round felt like a slog, like I actually had to play the game um, when compared to Vegas GP. But overall, I enjoyed it. I thought a lot of the players I played against were very skilled, very knowledgeable in the matchup, and overall, I just had a very great time. Uh, I ended up with a 5-2 record, landing me at 10th place at this GP. Huh. So, god damn it! I just blanked on what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is this is why I shouldn't be allowed to record as soon as I wake up. But anyways, but uh, glad to hear that you had a good time with everything. And uh, for I understand, like you had some fun with this matchup. I I know you were on Sash, and it appears that uh, everybody saw this beforehand with the deck list. But your opponents on Ange. What were your what were your thoughts going into this matchup? Honestly, it was a matchup I was expecting to see at Florida GP with how much hype around Ange and the new set was. So I came pretty prepared playing Sosh, you know, knowing I could stop open lanes, can stop any incoming damage from Ange herself, once per gaming, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I felt very confident going into this game. So we see he's going first and opening up probably like the most toxic board that you could do with Niji Sanji, which is two, which is, uh, Two Kirame's, which uh, Kirame's ability, as long as she sees another virtual, she gets shadow level one in 2k. Which, who cares about the 2k, but seeing your assist line, yeah, you're not getting rid of those that easy. <laughs> yeah, it, it does kind of hurt early game, especially when I do want to clear. Mm -hmm. um, but at least going into this, seeing that they're both 5k, I'm able to underswing with double driver Z and pass turn after drawing two with Umer clear. So yeah. I'm feeling pretty good here and hoping I can top deck and over pursuit the next turn to, to deal with those Sora Hoshis. And, and alternatively too, like your, the driver Zeds are a little bit better than the, uh, than the Kirames because, uh, the, they don't need to see another thing to get their shadow level one. You see he intercharges one off already. So you at least got that lane taken care of, or he just doesn't want to charge from hand. Looking at his list, his his list is kind of gas. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, no, it was definitely fun to play against because I've played against Skewer. That's my opponent currently. Um, mm -hmm. I played against Skewer a couple times, and I know he's very creative when it comes to deck building. So I knew this match was going to be a treat overall. And of course, to my surprise, when he drops a Love Dobby, I'm like, okay, sure. This this is how this game's gonna go. Yeah, that he opens up. He opens up three, and I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's let's see what's happening. Yeah, Livdabi with two is like still pretty respectable. Like you normally only see that in mono white assists uh, decks, but uh, it's still a two K or or two K LMAO, twelve uh, K regardless uh, in this situation. <clears throat> and you only honestly need the two whites just to activate the burst so the nashi flex pick on the other end is pretty good honey l burst on your end on the very last one hate to see Unfortunate. it you hate yeah. to see it <laughs> uh, i'm like it happens but i'm playing sash so i'm like it's fine it's all right yep. um i forget what my targets off this were but uh, uh well one was, yeah, was remember, like, one was a pen light that's for sure and I, and I think the other one was an over pursuit so of course you know two level threes or a spell can't add the spell uh, yeah. Luckily, did have the servant in hand to block four damage. You know, don't want to be taking all that early aggro. Yeah, the one th the one benefit that Anj does have is um, going first. She gets two whole turns of like four damage swings, basically, and can end the game as soon as she hits at level three. But uh, so if you catch your opponents with their pants down with like no servants, if they hit when they hit level three first, you're just kind of sitting there like, oh. I have no board. Oh, I have three life cloth. Oh, my opponent has presented six damage. What do? Yeah, no, that's exactly the case. And the scary part with Ange, because it's just 
a dash deck, but better at seeing its resources. Mm -hmm. Toto is definitely a scary threat early because it can hit a lot more level ones than a flash cards would in traditional yeah. mono white brews. Um, so I know entering my turn, you know, grow, I reveal my two Rizona crafts. I ended up adding full moon uh, because I want to start healing. And um, here's one of my first tech picks for the meta. Thinking I was going to see a lot of Anj and Toto is a scary card, I opted to go for Zhao Yun uh, in place of like a uh, any other level one spot for like an Artemis, things like that, just to give myself as many chances to survive. And you might be thinking, wow, this is an early Umer clear, which yes, it is, but my hand was terrible at the time. Don't remember what it was, but I saw a Typhon and I'm like, yeah, let's. Let's just go ahead and freeze the Elric before I die. <laughs> yeah, no, like, Umer Clear is, uh, in my opinion, like, a very strong pick for something like this, because you get to, you get to take them off the dash turn uh, for at least, like, like I said, for at least one turn. So, you now you aren't facing the threat of getting Chigusa and then OPG next turn. So, it's you get an extra turn of a safety net. Yeah, and I know uh, with the Umer clear, I didn't have a Servant, so that's definitely one reason I ripped it. I'm like, let me just see a Servant. Let's try to get something better. I think my hand just just a lot of level 3s. Wait, did he, did he discard off his Umer clear, or did he have no cards in hand? Uh, I do not remember at oh, this time. Oh, there he did. Oh, I think he had two cards in hand. I oh, dipped he, him he, down to one, he just, and he drew Servant. He just discarded one. You know what? Uh, let's, let's rewind that and see that Umer clear play. Just to be sure. Yeah, sure. Because I was not paying attention to his side of the board. Okay, so there's the Umer clear. And yeah, he discards two there. Yeah, discards two, draws Servant off the top. <laughs> so broken. Which oh. was which was commendable, I will give him that. But that's of course the risk you take with Umer clear, especially if you don't know they have the Servant in hand. Mm -hmm. I just figured that was the best time to get him on as little resources as possible and freeze the Elric, kind of double dipping into that point because playing off the top with Anj is a little scary. True, you have uh, Afternoon Tea, tea something, the, afternoon the one that top X5. Yeah. yeah, I keep getting him confused with the green piece. But yeah, I figured just having him rip off the top would be best in this scenario and you know, Skewer over here is really in the tank. He's thinking, he's like, alright, what's happening? What what am I going to do? Yeah, two cards in hand going against here. Grows to Anj. He gets us two collabos here. He can just bounce anything, which isn't terrible. Man's got the whole deck of collabos and has you pick two. That's, or just throws just out two. It. Yo, that's, that's dope. It's super funny when uh, Skewer does this, because I'm thinking he's on Lazulite Flash. Because, you know, why would you have all those collabs if you're not going to, you know, invite more, right? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, he he doesn't, you know, spoiler alert, he throws down an Amamiya. His his top deck was Amamiya over Pursuit. So he plays the Amamiya, bounces my level one, goes into Nanashi Scattering, pays for the viruses, mm -hmm. and clears my flashcards. So that's two open lanes right there, and I'm looking at my board. I'm like, all right, well, this this be fun. <laughs> and then, and then Tama. Yep. <laughs> yep, and then he's he's on Tama as well. Tama loud voice. Oh, mm -hmm. baby. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah, uh, I mean, that is an open 3 with virtually pun intended. Virtually zero resource. Oh man. Hey, look, another Hania. Let's go. All right, how many of those are level 3s and how many of those are spells? Oh, we got a picture frame. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it was a level three picture frame and a level one that I didn't need. So I don't know what math I'm doing here. Oh, oh, I think I asked him how many cards left in deck. Yeah, because I'm like, I think I may have saw a Polaris off the top, and I was like, ooh, do I want to take extra damage? But I'm like, nah. No, it's fine. You, you can't afford that with ooh. And hey. I did hit a link. Decided to bounce the level three. I'm like, you're not getting shadow. No, no, no. We we don't we don't want that here. Um, and now I I've been very patient with this Earth uh, scare. So now that he doesn't have a virtual on board, I can actually finally clear. Oh yeah, because because it's only three K now. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. 
So I undercharge the Zalyun for a turn because I'm like, all right, this this won't do me anything right now. I'm pretty sure I have two or three in hand at that point. Um, I'm able to Earth Scare, clear it. He mills four. Unfortunately, no servant. Saw the curse on there. Uh, curse didn't on... respect it. Didn't respect it at all. Curse on is such a wild pick here because, like, I was looking at his list uh, before we started recording, and I'm just like, wait, why is he running curse on? I'm so confused here as to if why it works it works if it works it works because turns uh, out Curson has very haha -ha funny interaction with uh <laughs> moon knight because Curson doesn't care where the mill happens it just cares that it happens that is correct and that's what ended up you know making a difference in this game um, moving into my turn, I go into Earth Aura, I play Remember, down to Top Check Cloth. I think it's actually the third Haniel in my list. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's an Earth Aura turn, I decided, hey, I'm going to go into Full Moon. Because, hey, let me just stop another full board clear. Um, and I'm double checking my deck, like, alright, how many... Am I out range of mill out? Things like that, just in case my opponent is on, like, a Flares or something. You know, I'm just doing all my checks. We have a little funny banter here. He's like, oh, shuffling your trash now. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just like shuffling my trash. No behind it. I'm just like, all right, you know, this is probably going to get refreshed. Let's start shuffling it up. So um, I think I... So fun little yeah. thing, too. And I think I know how this play is going to turn out. And if it does, I'll bring it up, actually, with the uh, Earth Aura. But... Uh, uh. Lear I learned something at this GP. And we'll see if we'll see if this actually happens here, or if uh, you're aware of the sauce, or if you're aware of this interaction. Actually, I I know which interaction you're referring to, and we'll we'll see when it comes up because it will happen. Yeah. Um, but regardless, I before the attack phase, I perform my action to pump. Oh lordy, oh I don't want to talk about this. Uh, uh, to pump my remember up to K cross turn. I, I swing in with my uh, picture frame first. He hits a servant trigger, adds a servant. I swing in with full moon. He hits a love dobby, bounces my picture frame back to hand, and then I proceed to Elric swing where I use Earth Aura to trash my full moon Rosona craft, so... which you're not able to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> after, you after the fact. you are aware. All right. So. Uh, Rizonos have this funny line of text that say they can't be retired, which is the same thing as being sent to the trash. So you can't retire your, or sent to the trash your Rizona to heal off of Earth or because it's the same, it's the same kind of wording as I think, well, no, it's not that line of text, sorry. I think it's the same kind of wording as at Memoria. Which is another funny card that, like, when it gets sent anywhere, I believe. I don't know the full text of the card off the top of my head. Um, when it gets sent anywhere, um, you can, you should basically put it into your deck, shuffle, and then look for the top to see if you get another one or something like that. Basically, like, it never sees the trash, I think. I, like, I, I have to actually, like, see the full fact or get neat to give me a better explanation that I can just put into the description of this video because he had a whole long conversation with somebody about this or a group of people uh, it about was it, it was actually with us right here with oh, skewer and myself oh, okay because, okay <laughs> because skewer came up to me after the game he's like hey you know you can't earth or uh, the rosona craft your full moon and i i forgot about it during our game but you can't do that and i'm like wait a minute yes you can that's the whole point of full moon you know your opponent, Signy, can only attack once, and you get a free heal off it using Earth Aura. Makes sense. But we brought it up to the head judge at the event, Neat, and he, after some deep diving, this was like a 20-minute conversation, uh, the JP text of Rizona Crafts read ex pretty much the exact same as at Memoria, where the replacement effect means it would not be able to be used for Earth Aura's effect. Meaning, well... You know, most of the Sasha players at the event, you know, don't know how to play the deck. Yeah, it's this is this is one of those situations where like um, the English translations kind of mess with stuff. 
Oh, hey, your your burst under your heel was uh, over pursuit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Unfortunately, th I I should have because I full moon last turn. I should have uh, sent away the remember as well to heal an extra one because I'm currently sitting at one cloth. But I'm thinking, you know, what? I should be fine. I have, you know, Sash once per game. You know, I've got one cloth. I'm going to do some funny plays here. Yeah, you could have you could have done a haha -ha funny Ereshka goal if you had one more cloth, but uh, I feel like you don't want to Ereshka goal versus Ange, especially because Ange didn't use her OPG last turn. That is correct, and <laughs> and uh, you Skewer will still die. <laughs> exactly, and Skewer still has both of his collabs, which is something important to note. Yeah. Um, so I keep asking uh, Skewer what he, how much he has left in deck because I'm running. You know, I'm on white, black, blue. I'm, of course, running Ultra Superheroes and Super Alessa Saber. So going into my turn, I'm just going to Super Alessa Saber, adding Typhon, Servant, and Penlight. You know, I figured, hey, if I get Penlight, I can kind of keep him off of double attacking, perhaps. Um, I think this is the turn I may do over Pursuit with a Penlight. Either that or this is my last turn of the game, but we'll see. It's, it's one of the other two. Oh, no, it's it's this one. Okay. So I decided, hey, let's just make a big beefy board. Go Typhon, exceed 3, 15k level 2. Pretty good. I go ahead and drop down a second remember. I believe that's right now. Yep. yep. It's like, remember, I'm like, let's just make this a big board. Uh, top check my cloth. I'm going to keep it with you. It's vanilla. Doesn't matter. Yep. I just perform the action on the second remember. Double check cloth because I don't know what I saw. You saw how quickly I picked up that card. Yep. I don't even know what it is either. This top-down view is really stopping me from seeing anything. <laughs> it's, it's pretty It's pretty funny. Uh, I go ahead and do my once per turn pumping up. Remember, I opt to not declare once per game and figured I could just go to combat like this. Oh, man. I feel... I, I, I can already hear the uh, to-be-continued theme with you not declaring <laughs> once per game. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Either that or like the Lion King, uh, the Lion King little blurb, but uh, I probably would have declared OPG there because if you can, cause it's in the sense like if he presents the Chigusa board, he still only gives, you only give him three damage to work with at that point in time because he needs to pay for the restand and right now, at least with the energy that he has right now, he can't and with the remember taxes is going to be a little bit harder. All right, so a little funny haha -ha thing. You saw me add a servant off of the Super Halesa Saber during yeah. this turn. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see moving into the next turn that I'm actually death gripping four servants. Bruh, what? Um, oh, look at that useless Love Dobby burst. <laughs> yep, 10k or less. That's why I was like, okay, big board, we're chilling. We got which was the 17, right 17, 15, and 15. So good. Yeah, it's just big old board. Um, I don't see what skewer top decks, but I believe four turn he top decks curse on, which actually just spells the end of the game for me, uh, which is fine. But oh, I yeah, just I I just realized I keep I keep talking about Chigusa turns, and this guy's not even running Chigusa. He's not even running Chigusa. Okay, so he did top deck curse on for turn. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. So he he goes into the T show top checks five adds two, I believe. Yeah. Um, oh wait, no, he's on Obsidia Salvage, I believe. Yep. No, that's not Obsidia I, Salvage. That's uh, oh, after school. Okay. Okay, it is after school. Okay. Yeah. Top check. You sees Toto, Sara. Sure. Wh whatever he needs, can't do anything with the board. He's just setting up the relay piece. And to my surprise, and and he undercharges another one. I think this dude's on three curse on. Now that I see it, I uh, believe he's on three curse on, which is crazy. He's four. if it's four. Oh wow! Sure. <laughs> <It's> so, <four. laughs> he was like, "Okay, yeah, sure. I'll Moon Knight. I'll, yeah, that's fine. Here, you could check trash." And it was at this moment he realized, "I have zero servants in trash." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared about, you know, the once per game plus the double swing, that I'm like, "Yeah, no, no, we're chilling." I look in my hand. Yep, four servants. We're chilling. He's like, uh, "What? There's there's four servants? In oh, okay." And, uh, honestly, like, having the, uh, like, actually looking at his list now, it makes sense why he's not on Chigusa, because, uh, 
There's only five total virtuals in this deck. Oh, wow. Okay, so he was playing like a hybrid list where it's like, okay, the the Kirames, you know, for early aggro, Totos for just easy bounces. That's what I think a lot of people weren't really exploring during this GP was, you know, those kind of hybrid builds. A lot of it were like, okay, were all virtuals or no virtuals? And unfortunately, the penalty for that damage on refresh wasn't over pursuit. So, you know, didn't see any of those this game. So that's always great. Yeah. And uh, now he can collab your board away, which is uh, o only only the level two and only the the remember that's not pumped because the other remember enough. is fourteen. K it's fine because I'm clearly out of options. I I have a second piece. It could be it could be something crazy. Uh, it's not I just ultra superheroes. Uh, yeah, he does collab bounce my board. If I declared once per game the previous turn, I don't know if it would have mattered because he still has plenty of enter. Yeah, he still has four. He just needs to pay he just needs to pay two to attack once in this situation, realistically. Like you're all grown out. There ain't jack and nothing you can do here. No. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> like it was an it Imagine was an if you're running game. Down top here. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be hilarious. <laughs> like actually, oh, Okay, no, I did I actually did declare once per game previously, but yeah, uh -oh. I was sitting on four servants over pursuit Orochimar. I could open up two lanes the next turn and go for game. But uh, little did I know Skewer is actually on Nanashi Purification, so it would have stopped a lane anyways. And I was like, okay, y you know, Sash lost to the one thing she could lose to yeah, herself. No. <laughs> <laughs> those, ah. those early bursts. The lack of early bursts really does hurt. I think in total I had... What was it? Two Haniels, one Lynx trigger, which honestly wasn't enough when they got bursted. Yeah. And, oh man, that's... Curse on in an Anj deck is wild to me. Like, I, I actually never thought about that. The like, fact that he was so on good. four was crazy. Yeah, well, it's, it's very nice. The burst is good, and I feel... And because cause the other thing, too, is like it makes sense that he's on four here, right? Because he has no other ways to get it. He has to draw into it. Because because yeah, after yeah, school only no yeah. cuz after school only gets virtuals. Yep, yep, so it's like you got to hard draw it if you want to see it, which at four copies it makes sense. Yeah. Cuz like remember doesn't dig um the only thing that uh like Kokoro doesn't dig. Everything is literally just Oh. I'm just going to run as many copies of this as possible because, uh, yeah, uh, I can't get this any other way besides drawing it. That's... Pretty much, which, I mean, it was impressive that he managed to find the only copy that would have won him the game in, on that turn specifically. Because I believe there were two in trash and then one got entered charged off of after school. So he just managed to rip off the top two cards fresh boom curse on i'm like all right i i can respect that i can respect the top deck yugi moto powers yeah dude, there was a lot of there's a lot of plot armor uh event uh situations at this gp and this is not the video to talk about them so <laughs> no no i'm definitely excited to see that video later when it when it gets commentated on hopefully you can get the individuals who played that game oh, on no, to that's chat about it oh that's not what i'm talking about bro yeah, uh, you'll f you'll find out when you'll find out if you uh, if you watch the recap video with all the <laughs> stats and stuff. I'll just put it that way. You'll find out then because uh, I, I certainly plan to talk on it. So uh, I'm like, hey, Anna Mirage bursts into a honey. Oh, kind of good. You know, hmm, <laughs> spoilers. Hmm. That, that's not. That's not. I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. That's. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Look, I, I semi-spoiled this game. I'm gonna semi-spoil another fun recap game. But wow, you know, if you were sick, <laughs> if you were there, it was the hypest game you've probably seen since Vegas GP one. Oh, actually though, yeah, actually though. <laughs> but uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, thank you for joining me, Phantom. It was it was great. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was, it was fun uh, commentating a game. I knew I lost pretty convincingly funny enough uh, <laughs> hey there's there's no issue there's no issues with that losers get a chance to shine too sometimes 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but overall, like like I said previously, like overall, I had a very good experience at the GP. Uh, there were a lot of wonderfully talented players at the event, and it was cool seeing some of the brews people got, uh, especially this, like this Angelus. You know, it wasn't the typical, oh, Gochagusa triple attack to end the game kind of deal. It was, it was a little a little different. It was just fun to see what people brought and fun to play against. See a lot of uh, people I saw from GP1, a lot of great players, and just overall had a good time. So thanks again for having me. Uh, it was fun. And with that, uh, we will, well, I will see you guys in the next round. So everybody have a good night.